All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's talk blades, because that's what we're into. Today I got another uh, Topps knife for you. It's called the Max Punisher. Um, I am doing this video because I'm also giving this one to the same person I was going to give the tracker to. Um, so this is another reason why this one's on this channel a little bit earlier than I in initially intended, but that's okay. This is kind of like a movie, um, movie knife. It was used on the, uh, I think it's like the second Punisher movie. Can't really remember the name of it, but it was the second Punisher movie. Um, I thought it was really cool, and I just saw it and wanted it because of its just awesome look on the screen, and then kind of tracked it down, and Topps had one of those ready to go. So uh, I figured, you know, why not for the collection? Of course, it was a little bit difficult to obtain because of the fact that the uh, price tag was a little higher than I would have wanted it to be. But um, all in all, I got it and I liked it. I just kind of was expecting something different. It's really heavy. It's one of those heavy ones. It fits, it fits the hand, but it, it also, it's really wide in the hand. Now you can tell my fingers aren't meeting like right there. They're just kind of, Ugh! you know, this humongous thing. It, it, it really is. It's just one of those big old knives. But, um, it's, it, I just wanted it. <laughs> I just wanted it. It was one of those movie knives. I was like, oh, I have to have it. I just have to have it. And yes, it comes in a different type of sheath. It comes in this nylon sheath, and it does have a plastic sleeve in there. Uh, empty pocket right here, it's just empty. And you get that free tops whistle, as all tops knives do. Um, it's got this gray. F it's got this kind of like a gray finish on there. Ah, you know, and and I'm not too huge of a gray looking knife just a huge fan of that anyways and it does have saw teeth but they're kind of painted over i mean the teeth are there the teeth are there sorry excuse me i'm moving this this thing is huge and heavy someone told me that you can actually use this knife for prying if that's what you want to do of course this is a great camping knife if you're looking at how much this thing is now when i first bought it it was around about i think it was like 300 bucks a little over 300 Right now, it's actually $172.94 on Amazon. Um, yeah, huge difference. If I just wanted to wait, I could have got it then. But I have a Damascus version of this knife made by a different company. It's a little bit lighter. It fits in the hand a little bit better, and it has uh, handle scales on it that I actually kind of like. So this one I'm willing to give to the to that person that I said I was giving my tracker to. It's kind of like a twofer, you know? So um, I'm willing to let this go, too. I just didn't like the color on it too much when I got it. It kind of showed up a little bit darker in the photos. As you can tell, it's pretty light. It doesn't have much of a tip. So this is another one of those choppers. And um, it kind of has a really interesting shape. As you can tell, the blade is... I mean, look at that. It's kind of at an angle right there, and it's not... It's not an even angle, so I'm pretty sure you can use this for prying if you really wanted to. Here it is fitting in the hand, and yes, that is my car to handles. It's one thing that Topps Knives is known for, is they're my car to handles. And there's a little divot here for your thumb, divot here for your fore forefinger, divot here, and it just feels like a meat cleaver in the hand. And I'm pretty sure you could slice meat with this thing if you really wanted to. Well... I'm pretty sure you can, regardless of what I say, because this thing is just huge. Uh, but like I said, empty pocket here, you get the free whistle here. Oh, and you get a little bit of a paracord kind of length right there, so you can tie it to your thigh. And it's kind of Molly compatible. So you got all of that, put it on your backpack, put it on your vest, look cool with it. It has a double strap Velcro kind of locking type thing and like I said it does have that plastic sleeve 
I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the sheath, but you know what? If you really wanted to, you could use it. So let's see how much this thing weighs, yeah? It's a big old knife. Why not? I want to see how much the knife weighs. All right. 22.31. Okay, yeah, that's heavy. And let's go ahead and get the measurement on there for you guys. I'm going to keep it in the screen so you guys can actually see it. It's pretty huge. Uh, right there, two right there. All right, so yeah, longer than the uh, tracker. This one is about 13 and a quarter inches. Big old knife. You get two lanyard holes, not one, but two. And the blade thickness. Let's see how thick the blade is. Oh. Alright, 1.1. It was reading 1.2 at one point. Or well, 1.0. Let's see how wide the handle is. 15.8. Yeah. It's a heavy. This th when I when I Oh man, I'm so sorry. I just <laughs> it's just a beast. When I hold this thing, it's like holding a meat cleaver. It really is. Could you take this out camping with you? Sure. Sure you can. This is another one of those camping knives that are great to take out. Would I fight a bear with it? No. Would I fight a smaller animal with it? Eh, maybe, but if I'm hacking and slashing, can't really, you know, defend myself if I can't stab with this thing. But hey, what do I know? Max Punisher. Come on, focus. Do your thing, focus. There we go. Uh, designed by... Daniel M. Serto? Okay. Um, that's new to me. I just... I only bought this knife because, you know. <laughs> and yes, Topps knives are made in the USA. I love the fact that it's printed on the blade right there because that's important. Anything that comes anywhere else, you get the less confidence, but this thing is a beast. You get a lot of blade for a lot of buck. Considering that I bought this at a $300 price point and now on Amazon it's showing at $173. I'm a little upset. And then this just, you know, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> uh, like I said before, my Carta is easy to clean. If you wanted to, you can remove the scales or you can just run it under some warm water with the scales on it and use a little bit of Dawn soap and it will clean up just fine. So, and I know you guys are waiting for this. Let's hope that it's sharper than the tracker. Here's some rope. Let's see what we can do with it. Now this actually looks like a more precise edge than the tracker. So we'll just go ahead and see how that's going to go. Oh yeah. That was little to no effort right there. It cut right through that rope. As you guys can see. It wasn't exactly a clean cut. But, um, yeah, and then, of course, the serrations on the back. You can use this, but I wouldn't because it's painted over. Um, it doesn't really have too much of an edge on this. I can do this. Like, I'm pushing down on it. I am literally pushing down on it, and I just feel the bumps, more or less. I don't know if that's really functional. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could, but you're, you'll be there sawing for a while. It doesn't really have too much of an edge on there. And it's got this kind of like a the way that it's it's just at an angle and then this part right here is normal and then it's at an angle again because of the teeth but on the back it's all straight so this is a very interesting blade geometry here and like i said i was told that this knife was meant for prying so well anyway tom brown excuse me not tom brown <laughs> it is the Max Punisher by Topps Knives. Go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.